Hello, dear students. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a new lecture. This is lecture number 10 of week number 11. In this lecture, we're going to start the uh, plural and singular nouns. So here is the table of contents. In this lecture, we will study the plural and singular nouns, the irregular forms, the collective nouns, the special changes, the possessive nouns, and we will solve some practical exercises. So let's first remind ourselves what a noun is. A noun names a person, place, thing, or idea. For example, school, girl, pencil, change. Now let's look at this noun, box. And then you have boxes, tomato, tomatoes, book, books. Now, as you can see in front of you, these three nouns are in the first column made into one group, and in the second column, they're made into another group. So what title can we give each group? Singular nouns and plural nouns. Box, tomato, book. These are singular nouns. Boxes, tomatoes, and books. These are plural nouns. So what is a singular noun and what is a plural noun? The singular noun names one person, place, thing, or idea. For example, plant. However, the plural noun names more than one person, place, thing, or idea. And most plural nouns are formed by adding S or ES to a singular noun. For example, plants. Now, let's look at this noun, cloud, cloud. This noun is ending with a consonant letter. I just added S to make it in the plural form. Cloud, clouds. Crab, crabs. Crab ends with a consonant letter and I'm just adding S to make it in the plural form. Flag, flags. Plant, plants. So, here also we have other nouns. These nouns are ending with an E. B, bees. Tree, trees. Cake, cakes. Table, tables. Quake, quakes. Grape, grapes. Nurse, nurses. House, houses. Horse, horses. And puzzle, puzzles. So as you can see, these nouns are all ending with an E, and we are also just adding an S to change them from the singular form to the plural form. So what's the rule? If a noun ends with an E, we only add S, and if it also ends in a consonant letter, we only add S, like change, changes, password, passwords. Again, if a noun, is only ending with a consonant letter or an E, I just add an S. Now, let's look at each noun here and how we are changing them. We have thief, it's changing to thieves. Leaf, it's changing to leaves. Wolf, wolves. Shelf, shelves. Scarf, scarves. Wife, wives, etc. So what can you realize from these nouns when we are changing them from the singular to the plural form? These nouns are ending mainly with F, either F, preceded by an E or an I, and also followed with an E. So mainly what we do is the following. We're removing the F and putting V instead of the F and then adding ES. 
So we cross the F and we add VES. Here is the rule. If a noun ends in F, sometimes we add S, but sometimes we change the F to a V and we add ES to form the plural. Like, children wore coats and scarves, that's incorrect, and scarves. So we remove the F and we put V and we add ES. And now let's look at these nouns. We have radio, radius, video, videos. In this case, these nouns are ending with an O that's preceded with a vowel letter. An O that's preceded with a vowel letter. So when we have a noun that ends with an O preceded by a vowel letter, I just add an S. The rule is, if a noun ends in a vowel that's followed by O, I just add S to the form or to form the plural, like radio, radios. Now, if we have a noun that's ending with an O preceded by a consonant, what do we do? We're adding ES, like tomato, tomatoes, potato, potatoes, volcano, volcanoes, to change it from the singular form to the plural form. You can see in front of you one tomato group of tomatoes, one potato group of potatoes, and one volcano or more than one volcanoes. So what's the rule? If a, noun and if a noun ends in a consonant that's followed by an O, we add S or ES depending on the word to form the plural, like photo, photos, tomato, tomatoes. So here we're adding ES and here we're adding S. Now what are collective nouns? The collective nouns names or name a group, and it can be singular or plural. What is an irregular plural noun? The irregular plural noun from the word irregular, they do not follow any regular rule. So we do not just add S or ES or IES. What do we do? They follow, as we said, no specific rule. Like fish, it stays the same in the plural and the singular. So the noun fish stays the same. It's not changing. We're not adding S or ES. Let's look at them here. Singular nouns and plural nouns, collective nouns. For example, people. This is a collective noun that presents a group of people or a group of persons which we call people. Now let's match to complete the sentence and understand more the collective nouns. An army of soldiers. An army of soldiers. Army is a collective noun that represents a group of soldiers. A band of musicians. A band of musicians. A chair of and then you will be matching it. A class of, you will be matching it. Students maybe, a crew of also, maybe sailors. A crowd of policemen maybe, or a gang of thieves. And then a staff of and a team of players, etc. So army, band, class, crew, crowd, gang, etc. These are collective nouns. They represent a group of people, a group of musicians, soldiers, singers, people, teachers, students, etc. Now, what are the irregular nouns in the singular and the plural? Let's look at these nouns in the singular and then in the plural. Sheep, sheep. 
it's staying the same. So it's not following the regular rule in which we just add S or ES. That's why it's called an irregular noun. Child, children, we added R-E-N. Fish, it's staying the same. Leaf, leaves, we changed the F. Series, series. Tuna, tuna. Knife, knives. Index, indices. Goose, geese. Woman, woman. Aircraft, aircraft, etc. Person, people, man, men, mouse, mice, and etc. So what you can see is the irregular form of the nouns. These nouns are irregular because they do not follow a specific rule, which is they do not follow the rule of adding an S or an ES. Some of them change according to their own specific rule, and some of them do not change at all. That's why they're called the irregular nouns. Now, what are the possessive nouns? Possessive nouns, from the word possessive, we go to the word possess. When I possess something, I have something, I own something. So the possessive nouns name who or what owns something. It's singular when it names one owner, and it can be common or proper. It's plural when it names more than one owner. We add apostrophe and S to make a singular noun possessive, even when the noun ends with S. Here is a summary table of the nouns that end with a Y preceded with preceded with either a vowel or a consonant, and that ends with O, also preceded with a vowel or a consonant. Now let's do a quick grammar exercise. Here you have a group of words. You're going to write the words that belong to each category. You have collective, irregular, possessive, and regular. So school becomes schools. It's a regular noun. Branch, branches, regular. Woman becomes woman. So this is an irregular noun. Car, cars, this is regular. Woman's apostrophe S, so this is possessive noun. Tooth becomes teeth, it's irregular. And then we have fox, life, group. Group is a collective noun. And then we have zebra, fruit, goose, tomato, family, photo, knife, coach, and James with an apostrophe. And what you're going to do is to write each word in the respective column. And here I added for you a fun game. It's a game in which you have to cross the letters to make a word, and that word should be a plural form of the noun, and then you have to find the word and fill it here in the correct sentence. Now you have a homework. Uh, the homework is to solve part B in page 31, part B in page 32, and part B in page 36 and page 42, and they are all short questions. They are in your grammar practice book, which is Grammar Practice Reproducibles. I hope that everything was clear and have a nice day.